How you going? My name's uh, Nathan. I'm just a young bloke from uh, Melbourne, Australia. I thought I'd do the test. You hear all this random stuff about you can run your car off gas vapors. You know, the internal combustion engine wasn't designed to run off uh, liquid, you know, petrol, or in the States you call it gas. Um, that it's meant to run off vapor, and that's what's happening in the engines, releasing vapor, all this stuff. Lots of things seem real dodgy, and they try and prove things, but it just, it just doesn't work. Anyway, so I've done the experiment myself. I've got a little shit box here. Um, it's a Daihatsu Charade 89. I've done the little test. It's bodgy as shit. I tell you what, it actually worked, and I've got to show you guys. Now, I don't care if you don't believe me, I don't care. I was wanting to do the experiment myself. They say do it on a doing it on a car with a carby makes it that much easier blah 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 it's only just idling but this is it so pretty much got my air box I've got three tubes going in and they're just barely you can see making just enough fumes ah uh, sorry vapors and then this pipe takes it in to my air intake and that's it. I've kept all of the original, um, there's other kinds of like hoses and things. I don't really know what they do. It seems a bit bizarre, but anyways, I've left them. The car's running. Um, And then when it gets lower to a lower idle, sometimes it kind of sounds like it wants to stall a bit. That's not too bad. That's literally it. And if you think it's not running off this, just so you can have a really clear look, this is just a little hose, comes out. It's meant to be connected to the engine. I don't know what it does. If I block this, oh, maybe not. All right, if I take this off, it should just turn off. There you go. There was too much air coming in, not enough vapor or fuel, and it turned off. So, I don't know if you can hear me well in that video, but I tell you what, this is the most bodges backyard job. Like, this is just a random box and like some old, I don't even know, hose. I've just stuck it in there real quick. I probably spent at most two hours doing this. And these are just random things I had in my backyard. It hasn't cost me a cent, except for $3 worth of petrol. The experiment's real, and I'm so keen to actually try this and see if it drives, see how it goes under load. But so far, it actually works. Then obviously the other thing you gotta figure out is fuel economy. You know, how well, if you can get it to drive as a daily, what's the fuel economy like? I don't know, but I'm so pumped right now because this is, like I said, I'm just a young bloke. You hear this random thing and it's actually legit and if this works and if I can get this to run properly and drive man who knows what the fuel economy could be like this is amazing all right so uh, I wanted to test it under load see how it goes I mean so far I can't find any faults with this aside from it being really bodge I've still got my bonnet open you can still see that my little contraption is still connected the car is running off that literally just the vapors coming out of that thing and it's obviously just getting enough air or oxygen you know however it is and it's working i got a little backyard i want to do a little test so um this is it now i can't drive far or drive hard but it's still kind of technically under load so I mean, that's it. <laughs> it's driving, like, <laughs> this is the most bizarre thing because it's like it's conspiracy theory, you know, the big oil companies, you know, and big petrol companies don't want you to know this and they stop it from working. And it's like the cheapest, easiest experiment. You can do it yourself. You apparently can do this even if you're fuel injected, but apparently it's harder, I don't know. but. 
I've had this thing running for like five minutes. I don't know if it's like you can blow your engine if it's too lean or too rich. I don't know. I'll have to find that out. But obviously, if it idles smoothly, then it's got to be a pretty close mix. It's got to be pretty close to right. Obviously, it won't even run at all. And probably people are going to go, oh, this, that, this, that. I don't really care. I'm stoked. This is really cool. I really want to encourage anyone to give this a shot. Like, it's so easy. You can do it bodge as, get a random container. You know, it's so easy. Um, but yeah, just to show you guys again. <clears throat> so, first I um, tried it with just one and I siliconed it in place. Uh, and then after like five minutes, all the silicon on the inside, it was like, I don't know, kind of just coming apart and stuff. So obviously the petrol and fumes, whatever, silicon doesn't like it. Um, added a second one, right? So this was the original. A second one kind of made it better, but not, it wasn't, still wouldn't idle right. And then I thought, you know what? All the blokes in the video seem to have three. I thought it was random. Anyways, I put three, it actually works. And now it's idling really nicely. The next thing I'm gonna try and do is see if I can get this box um, and see if I can tuck it into this corner here, something like that, so I can put it away there and then close my bonnet and drive around and see what happens, so, yeah. All right, it's dark now, a little bit of fiddling around, but um, I got it to fit in my car so that the bonnet can kind of close. Wow, it does close. I didn't put it on uh, that side like I thought, there was too many things in the way. I actually found room right there. So, made it fit. If you can see, there we go. Made it fit, it works, and it uh, just closes. Just. And now I'm so keen to go for a little drive and see what happens. You can't see me heaps well, but um, you get an idea. This is my first drive. The idle is, um, Low. It's idling like it idling low, but obviously the car's not really idling itself. I just need to accelerate more. But I mean Oh, I just realized you guys won't be able to see that I'm actually driving. Well, I'm doing 20 Ks. And so far it's okay. Accelerating more. I'm doing 30. 30 Ks now. So far it's driving as per normal. 50. 50 Ks. Like I said, it, I was I was not really kind of expecting it to work, especially this easily. I watched videos where blokes had things that were more complicated, took them more time, they made it out of PVC, glued it all together. Then when they accelerated, as you know, it wants to suck in more fuel, but also needs more air. And they would, they would run the car and it would suck in fuel, but it wouldn't necessarily get more air and then the car would stall, right? I don't really know how exactly, but my car seems to not do that. Like, like I said, I haven't really sealed everything. I'm trying to just shove things, you know, make them fit. So maybe there's enough air getting through there where it just kind of makes itself work. I don't really know, but it's working. Like I said, it idles a little bit rough and it wants to, you know, be turned up a little bit. 
um, I'm just holding my foot on the accelerator, but it works. So I'm gonna go for a, you know, a little drive and see if it, yeah, continues to work. But I'm, I'm bloody stoked. So yeah. All right, this is the uh, last bit of the video, or at least for tonight. Went for maybe a 10 minute drive. Um, by now I've probably driven for, you know, probably 10 or so minutes. The car had warmed up to full operating temperature and then it started to run really rough um, and not really accelerate. Usually when you pump the gas, it uh, sucks up obviously more vapor and makes it run okay, but that just wasn't working either. My only theory is, and I've heard this from a bunch of other videos, is that there's a few ways to get vapor um, out of the, like to get more vapor out of that, you know, petrol, is to have a wick, you know, so it kind of soaks up and gives it more kind of surface to whatever, vaporize. The other one is to do the bubbling, which is obviously what I've done and what a lot of people do, which is obviously the vacuum where the engine sucks in the air, causes the petrol to bubble that makes more vapor. And the third is to heat up the um, petrol. So I've seen guys who put these little like, I don't even know what they're called, but these little kind of heating up elements, they put them into there, they heat up the petrol, and when it gets to a hot enough temperature, they maintain that temperature and it vaporizes itself enough without the need for the bubbling, and then they suck that into the motor. So my theory is that being in the engine bay, because obviously it was closed, it was sealed, uh, the engine you know, heats up, the petrol's heated up, therefore creating more vapor so that my air to fuel ratio was good but then as it heated up, changed over to make it too rich, meaning that there was too much vapor going in, not enough air. That's a theory, I haven't tested it out now, but it's getting later. Uh, and so I'm pretty much gonna call it quits for tonight. But myth busted, it can be done, it does work. I am gonna figure out how to do this long term and I'll probably do a video for that too. So don't be skeptical. Don't be, you know, someone who doesn't believe shit. It does work, it is real. Try it out. Be a bloody engineer, be a scientist, go out and do some cool shit and you can do it in your backyard and it costs you nothing. Have fun, get out there guys, awesome. Just one quick thing to add, I never added into the video that I had disconnected my fuel line from the carburetor. So I had to take off the air box and pull off the plug, I put a bolt in it, that was no more fuel in it, then ran the car, waited for the, the ball to run out of fuel and it's didn't start and after that tried it tried it tried it definitely wouldn't start 100% and then that's the part where I jump to the video and say everything that I've done I didn't show you that part if you don't believe me I don't really care I did the experiment it's real so try it <laughs>